It's the pillar of authority in New Zealand. Breaking news, hard opinion, the facts. News Talk ZB presents the 2013 Invitational Bake Off. Just to make this clear, this is an age-old tradition in ZB. We've been doing it year in, year out, and ever since I've been on board, I win basically every year. I think I've won every year. I win so many things, it's difficult to know whether I win every year or not, but I think I win every year. But the history of this illustrious and time-honoured competition has led to some dark times in the newsroom. I will never Never, never enter a Bake Off again. Ugh, this looks like it's been used to clean the bathroom with. It tastes a little bit like it too. A pie? Hmm, I guess you used a few strays in the mincemeat. If the proof is in the pudding, this cake is guilty of being awful. Look, at least in my head, the judging was that harsh, okay? Oh my gosh, I'm so looking forward to this Bake Off. Oh my god, I've got all these utensils. Oh, I'll tell you what, it's like a civil war in here. Instead of muskets and cavalry, we've got pastry and hurt feelings. I think against the guys from ZB, I'll win because, as I said, I'm a winner. What else do you want? Last year, I entered Pam's sausage rolls in the savoury section, incredibly convenient, in the frozen aisle of all good supermarkets. Up here in Mount Kilimanjaro, well, there's no supermarkets close, are there? So I'm having to improvise. I'm using a very special ingredient. No. No. Dung beetles, actually. The judges will be fierce. Renowned chef Michael Meredith. Food editor for Dish Magazine, Claire Aldous. ZB Promotions Manager, Emma Freeman. TRN staff wanting to participate need to bring their A game. ZB Bake Off is the real deal and it's not to be taken lightly. I am so looking forward to seeing what the other stations and the other TRN departments bring to this. I have to admit, I like most things. There's not a lot I don't like, but perhaps a banana cake with mustard might not win many points from me. I'll be looking for some really, some really things that will knock me over, you know, things that are going to stand out, things that are going to turn the corner. The standards that they set are pretty damn high and bit cocky about who's going to win this. Oh, there's a couple of people that maybe need to be taken down a notch or two. Uh, who are the judges? What do they know? Emma Freeman <laughs> bakes a few cupcakes. Yeah. That doesn't qualify her to judge what will be just a superb sponge roll. My buns are stunning. Probably not as stunning as Ricky's for now, but they're pretty damn good. I can't tell you what I'll be baking, because what tends to happen in previous competitions is the moment I let the word out, everyone bakes the same thing. Not as well or successfully, but they're pretenders. So what I like to do is bring in something at the last minute by way of a surprise. Yeah, I'd be surprised if Hosking did his own baking. Uh, you know, I've had Kate's stuff before. I'd bring in, I'd bring in some of Kate's stuff if I was him. Am I worried about the judges and how they'll critique me? No, not really, because I know that I'll produce a quality product. 